Okay, so we may start the seminar. So today we have uh, in, uh, Dana Barad, he's a great uh, professor, especially specialized in, uh, in uh, cognitive science and the brain science and the modeling. And uh, yeah, especially I remember his very great work about visual attention things. I learned a lot, like uh, maybe 30 years ago or something like that. And then he's also famous for the, right, like a very early work in uh, like uh, 20 years ago, like uh, predict coding. So that's very famous work. So, but anyway, so today he's going to talk about uh, generative model things. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, thanks, um, um, I feel like um, Kenji and and, and Jun, I wrote um, I, from reading their papers, and then that I sort of know them um, for um, um, for lots of um, years. But it's fun being. It's lot. It's lot. Um, um, being here, this is my first time here. It's a, it's sort of an ad adventure to me. Um, driving a, on the left side of the road is an adventure too. And but today um, I want to talk about um, an, a code for um, neurons. So we, we, we've heard before that it's a hundred billion uh, neurons in there, and they're computing by um, spikes. And but in there and. Uh, for systems, um, neuroscience, particularly um, experiment, experimenters, um, take a, a lot of um, spikes and average them. And I feel like this is a big uh, uh, mistake. Um, and the brain can't be doing that. And so it's okay for as a correlate of what's going on, but it's not a generative model. That's not, it's not what the brain is doing. And I think that the, the um, what the brain is doing is is open question. So I have, today I have a um, proposal for that. And and so <laughs> since, since all the brain power here is, if you want, um, you could think about um, of things um, that come up, and maybe you have some ideas for me. That'd be totally fabulous because I have um, I haven't solved all the um, problems here, but I, I have some data for you that might be a lot of fun. So let's get going. Um, so um, so the, we're getting interested now that the, the brain is look. Uh, uses um, voltage um, oscillations in its communications um, and in computer um, um, calculations. And, and so, and theta is big, you know, I, I was, um, I, I, flew, I had a flight, flight from Dallas to Narita, one stop. And I, but I could tell you, um, the um, what happened in the plane? I could, I could right now. I could do it. So the theta is for things that are need their own spatial and time um, things, and another one is beta. So beta is very important, and people are starting to really getting excited about that. But make um, that it works in reachable space. So, but if I want a step or a, a, a saccade in that vision, um, I need my beta. And, 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 and so it kind of sets up the questions that you're going to ask for. So, and then, then the, um, the star of today is gamma. So if, if being an old hardened um, computer spy guy, that still does the heavy lifting for the detail um, computations that you want to do. OK, so let's, um, the other thing, of course, is, um, for vision, everybody in vision sees that um, that the primates have the tiny little phobia of a width of a width one degree at the at the thumb um, held at one's amulet, and so the basically our um, visual day is making um, saccades and changing our um, um, gaze to ask questions about the periphery. So we'll need that, and and uh, um, the um, and another thing um, that's happening is that people are thinking that the brain is um, has an agenda, so that your mental life is that you have questions and goals that you want, and so you you um, 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 have your question ready to go, and then you ask the motor system and the visual system to answer that question. 
And that, that is a new, a new idea um, in the last uh, maybe 10 years or so, because when I started out, um, you, you, the, the vision when as objects on the table and, and vision was to make you a description of what's there, and then you could think about it. But now that's gone. Something else is happening. So let's let's have a, a take a look at um, 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 so some some behavior here. So in this, um, we're in a virtual world, and we're going to drive that car. And the, the crosshairs, that's the eye, the gaze, where you're looking. And you have two things to do. A red a car will appear, and you have to follow the red car. And but you have to keep your um, Oh, I got my, I can defend with my, so you got your st uh, speedometer here and you, and you have to keep the speed at um, 30. And um, so let's see if I can get this for you going for here. Whoop. Nope, nope, nope. Um, here we go. Okay, here we go. Sorry. All right. So let's see, where's the car? There it is. Let's wait for it. And um, here we go. Okay, there it is. Okay, car, car, and uh, speed. Whoop, car, speed. So, um, I like that one. Now, watch my space. Uh, my special moment is going to come up soon. So here we go. So we're going to ch change less. There. <laughs> So your your visual system knows that if you're chasing changing lanes, you better look in the mirror. There's nothing there, but the brain knows that that's what you should be doing, and and so you go. I think anyway. That's um, so. If you were that, this has points that we so we'll need. We'll remember that because we'll have to go back, come back to it. Okay. So let's do some vision. And I, I'm, I apologize because I think lots of people in the audience have seen this hundreds of times, but that it will become important too. That of, uh, and we know that when a vision um, hits the retina, that LGN um, is the. It's like a in the thalamus, it's the IO port, and and so that that is a way stage. And then we go into the memory, and the first part of the memory is V1, and of course we have the um, the feedback to from the V1 to the um, thalamus. And <laughs> this is, I always like to think about the, the bus coming from V1 to the thalamus is 10 times the, the, the bus going the other way. So, and this is, I, in my mind, this is your question. You, so you want to ask your question in vision. The thalamus is the answer, of, um, gives you the answer. And so you ask, ask it on this bus. Now, the other thing, of course, everybody knows is that the thalamus uses um, dots. So you have uh, dark centers or light centers, and then you have the, uh, the code for your um, V1. So the, basically, um, your, uh, um, your um, cortex is, is keeping you, uh, your memory. So basically, you're a memory, and the, the, the com computer is so... Um, brain con computation is so slow that you basically try to co compute everything ahead of time and then look it up. So that's your, and, and so if you're doing that, um, coding the information is really important. That's, that has to be the, um, 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 your, your life um, goal. But here we're gonna um, code the dots into edges here and, um, Okay, and of course, um, if we, I'm going to take you 60 to, uh, years ago, you, when you um, take a wire, uh, electric, extra cellular electrode, and, we'll, and let's just see a, a, a dot. Um, there we go. I want this to be very loud. And, and here we go. So this is Hubble and Weasel recording a dot in a cat. But and what? Why are we listening to this? Because you're listening to spikes. And then if you're a, a neuroscience um, 
um, experimenter, um, what you're going to do is count those spikes, and that's a number. So the, 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 the cells are trying to tell you about numbers. And if you want those numbers, you have to spike the, take the spikes. And so you have trials. So you have sometimes 40, 50, 100 trials, and then you, you sum those things and average them, which is, okay. So this is, you, you know, I don't like this um, method because um, it, it seems like biology, biology is not going to do this. Maybe the experiments, but, and, and, but, but we can ask this. Um, okay, if we're estimating a, a number, okay, um, how many spikes do we need? It turns out that um, um, it's expensive. So this is, this is, I think this, I think I did this, but maybe Kenji did this before <laughs> for me. <laughs> but but what, what we're going to do is um, we're going to take, we're trying, what are we trying to do? We're trying, we have a, a, a cell and, and it's, it, it's firing, it's, you have the expense, uh, these spikes are coming out and we want to know, we want the number. Okay, so what we'll do is um, we'll, we're going to take the little places spikes and we're going to put them in a box. I'm going to get a space-time box and it, it's a Bernoulli box. And so it's the probability of getting a spike. So I've chose box, and that, so that box has one, either zero or one. And but that's but what that means it's really easy to um, count because what do I want to do? I want to know how accurate it is. So I do. Do I want to be um, very close? So my error is down to two point five percent. And and then also the other thing parameter I have to play with is. I want to know. Here is the num the um, scalar I want, and here's the one I got by averaging. And I want these very close. And so I want to know how many um, um, of boxes do I have to have my um, errors that I want. And the an the answer is it's it's a lot. So um, if I want to be um, point um, um, I want this to be very high. 0.9, and then and then I want to be accurate. Then I need a lot of a lot of these. You can do this, <laughs> and you probably have done this already. But you you need a lot of uh, boxes here, and the boxes could be cells or it could be synapses. I don't care how you're going to do this, but it's a lot. And and what just keep remember now what we is this was one scalar that we were trying to do. If I have a 10 by 10 image. Um, I'm sorry, um, um, there's no room anymore for anything. So something else has to happen. So here, let's, let's have a look. Okay, so we need to do um, um, some anatomy first. And so before we learned it was dots and then edges and, and, and we have, everybody knows now that the, the anatomy is very um, riddle, um, 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 faithful here. So if I want an, if I have an edge here and then make one with the anatomy, oh, well, I just take a dot and a dot and a dot and a dot. I just connect it. If I want the middle, I take the right dots and do, 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 made. And so that happens, but we're computer guys. And so we want to do better than that. So we would like to know um, how, how we're looking at edges. And we have this very, very work with Oshas and Field. And, and the, what they're saying is that, well, um, maybe I could quick one. How many people have seen this before? No, okay, well, let's, okay, so let's, let's let, here's an image in the um, thalamus. So this is dots here, and I'd like to code it in V1. And so what the, here's the image and I, I make a vec, vector out of it. And here's my matrix and the columns of the um, matrices are these little image, images here. So, and, and what this says when, I want, when I've done this, the image can be a linear combination of these little, these little um, see, uh, cells in here. And, but you can see that since I wanted an exact match, 
these are very ugly things. Um, so I'm taking a linear combination, of all of these, but they don't look like a bio biology at all. But this looks like a bio um, biology um, 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 that, that, that you would see from experiments in uh, measuring. And, and what did um, Oshaus and Field say? They said, well, look, um, we don't want to use all the, we, we want a code. So we don't want it to be as big as the thalamus. In the B1, I would want to be much shorter. And so what you, you want to um, um, model the image, but you're going to charge in your vector um, function, you're going to charge for the, the um, 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 cells that you turn on. So you would like to have a, a code that uses um, less than the 64 um, degrees of um, freedom. So you want to be much less than that. And so um, you can you can do that. And so this is this is my ugly picture. But this is and pictures are important. So I, I I would I would try to hope you to remember this bit because we'll need it. So here's the little um, six, 64 um, points in the, in the thalamus. And now in the V1, we only need one, 12, because we have these ones, one, two, 12. And so I'm, and when I'm done with the optima design, um, um, I just kind of take the linear combination of this. So this, um, times this plus this times this plus everybody's seen this before. But so basically, in the coding, I get a nice code um, that with less um, cells, and I take a linear um, combination of them. Okay, and this works because um, the um, the V1 has many 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 cells than I need, so I have a lot of of, of little cells in there so I could for particular it's easy for when a particular um, image comes in to to go in here and, and and pick the just ones that are most helpful. Okay. Now um, the other uh, the other thing we should talk about that'll be important too is predictive coding. So um, I had a very brilliant student um, um, Raj Rao, and, he, and we were working on this, and he um, realized that um, that you could um, 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 play with the um, um, mathematics um, that that um, um, Oshausen came up and 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 put it in a very 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 um, 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 context. And so here, what's happening is that. Um, what were we seeing? We were before we had this image and we're coding it to it. And what right and what now what's happening is that um, it's pretty coding. So before we were worrying about okay, this um, this error, and we were trying to um, code this and code this. But um, here, what we're saying is, wait a second, we, in this level, we can have a predictive estimator, and that is going to be um, trying to get a prior um, um, model of this. So basically, the predictive estimator uh, makes a prediction of what, what it, it thinks is it's um, coding, and if there's an error, and the, the, the level um, one um, level down, it just has to set the mis mismatches. And so, um, one more, and then the, the classic pa paper, this, this, is, um, this paper is, gets more sightings every late, uh, year. And, and it's, it's really, because it's such a beautiful um, 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 a point, a, a idea. And so this is the just to um, go back in history and time and lectures, okay? But but we want to know what what is the brain doing, okay? That's why we're here. No, 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 not at all. But well, you'll see some 
receptive fields, and then you 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 you'll be asked to make some jump judgments on there. And in fact, one of um, so I'm having trouble in, in interpreting my receptive fields, and so I'm hoping that somebody will come up with some ideas. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so these are my uh, um, heroes that. And Marsha Ablis, I, I like him a lot. <laughs> He's great. I, read, I was reading his book, and his book says, look, if the input to a cell all comes at the same time, then it's easy to generate a spike. <laughs> I thought, wow, that's amazing. And it, it, why, doesn't, why aren't all the cells waiting for the in, input at the same time? And so it turns out more and more in the experiment world, it, that's what happens. All the input comes at the same time. But I was really, um, uh, that, that changed my life reading this book. And, um, and I thought, Israel, I thought, I'm not going to Israel. I have very few, um, I have two um, um, principles. One is no, <laughs> um, 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 yeah. No more um, um, mil military r research money. Um, that, and, but you can't get your um, virginity back. But and since '82, and then, but and but I thought I'm not going to Israel until they get a sim. A, 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 they solve the two-state problem, and then. But Moshe had, Moshe had his 80th birthday. What am I? I thought, what am I? I'm going to give us miss his birthday? No. So I went. He's really a great guy. So that. But this is this is groundbreaking. And also, Wilter um, Wolf Singer. He is he is a genius, really, in the theoretical world. And he um, basically um, he found that large areas in the maps and then in the in the in the cortex would um oscillate it, it, and and um his work I, I feel bad for him because that in the u.s they didn't um give him the property um um, um of, of of or of, of awards for this work it's fab totally fabulous and then maybe people um load um, Pascal Free is he's, he's really nice too, and he's a disciple of, of, of Wolf, and he something does things very close to what um, uh, we are doing is that he studies um, gamma um, oscillations in, in networks, but um, the the Betty he has um, global phase, so if you have two oscillates, oscillates, you can take. When you you can make the uh, move the phase, but you have to do it in the entire uh, network. That's the difference. So these are my heroes, and now we get to us. So the the what makes this work you're about to hear is that the the um, gamma free um, um, frequencies have a local phase. So each spike has its own private space. So here we go. Okay, so what we have to do is um, get some um, um, data from patch clamping. So, um, okay, once more, quick in patch clamping. Oh, it's really nice. Um, so basically, if you have if you have a wire electric, um, you have to sort of poke it, stick it in there. But here you have a glass. Um, a little electrode, and you have to uh, sneak it up on the soma and put put it on there without break, breaking something. There. But if you get this stuck on there, then you can um, look at the entire uh, membrane potential of the cell. So before you might have been counting spikes and da 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 da. No, no, no. It's diff very very different. So let's. So here's a patch clamp. And here's a mouse, and the, the mouse is going to see um, oriented uh, stimuli, and you and for seven and and um, seconds, and here's the middle three and oh four. Okay, I always like this is um, 
you know, to talk the, uh, take the arbitrals of those, those spikes and see what you get. But let's not look at that. Let's look at the patch clamp. Well, the, well, when I say, I, I was so happy when I saw this. It, it's, it's like looking at a musical score. There's all kinds of stuff on here. There's low frequencies, there are other frequencies, I don't know, lots of different um, frequencies are on there. Wow, what is, what is going on? So, hmm, well, we, we gamma, if we were look after gamma, we could just take a band that in gamma band and just figure, um, um, we could um, filter this, but no, you can't. Um, because this, this spike so screw up thing, this huge spike is gonna make take that out. So basically, um, um, the people who do this, they fight over, they have to re surgically remove the spike and and then do the filtering, and then they put it back, put it back. And and so people fight, they fight over what this sub uh, 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 the, uh, um, the little um, it's equation here, but we, so we're going to do this. We'll take it off and we'll, we'll filter the gamma and we'll put it back on. Wow, another wow. Um, so here, um, and it, it's so the amplitude here is in, is, so, is so tiny that it, it's, it goes on the top. But look at that, right? The spikes. Or have something to do with the gamma for the gamma. This is a tiny little signal, but um, they're somehow controlling the spike. How did they do that? Well, mm, so now, so here is our model, <laughs> and I have a, I have a, I have another. Um, my spouse is a professor too, and she says um, I have too many smart um, students. And much more than on my share. But one of them is, is um, um, Rohan Zhang, and, and he helped me figure, he, we fought over what this should look like, and I had to um, give in to his um, idea. And so what, what are we trying to do? We're trying, we want a spike to be a, a, a scalar number. And so what is there? Well, it's, it's a delta. And so basically, um, this is what we measured, the, the difference between this, okay, first of all, start, um, we have this minima, and this is the other side of the gamma here. And so what we're gonna do, this is the origin zero, and then here's the spike, and then we measure this, and that's the number. And the, the, then we have to scale it because if it's right on the, the minimum, then it's a big number and then it falls off very quickly. Um, ep, ep, um, ep, ep, uh, um, here, okay. And here is, an, don't you think this is pretty? Uh, um, I wrote this code. And, and so here's one. So here's a very nice one here. So this is sort of a not a very big number, but later. Okay. So now, um, you here, um, we've we've done about three thousand of these spikes, and here's here's one. Here's a high number where the the spike is very close to the minimum. This is sort of the middle, and this is a low number here. So now a spike is is. I mean, can we enjoy the moment? Because the spike now is, is, is a number. It's you're back in Silicon world where every, you, know, you can build your um, cells that have, have out, scalar outs. Um, okay, so the, what are we gonna do now? Um, well, well, let's look at some data just to get the. So here is um, a cell and the color is the, um, the trial. So we, when we, the first one we saw had four spikes. So here, the, here they're one, two, three, four. And so the color is how many spikes for, for the trial. And that they, and you're seeing is since they're about a, a radian, so they're in the first quadrant there. And here, the, now this is very important here is that what you can do is you can get the wavelength. 
around those, those spikes. So now you have a, I call it the, the instance frequency. That's probably a, not thing to, a bad thing to say, but, that, but you can see here that if we take these wavelengths, there, there's sort of a member um, varying all, all, uh, all over the place here, and maybe in an interesting way. And let's see. And then, and here's some more properties for you. And here's the, here's the one, the, um, the radiant um, for the, um, okay, for the, for our delta. And then this is the amazing thing for me is that um, the gamma, the, 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 the amplitude is so tiny, the tiny little amp thing seems to be controlling the spike. And, and here, of course, we, we were expecting this, that the, the um, frequencies would be in the 450 uh, hertz. Okay. So now, hmm, what are we going to do? do we, should, we, we'd have, we need to, we have these numbers. What are they for? So we've done um, nothing. Well, um, well, this, I'm showing you this to see if you like it or not. Um, what, what, um, one thing you can do is this is rather um, inelegant, but if you have an image here, 14 by 14 and here, what you could do have a, a very cheap um, um, a coding is you can, you, you have your library of cells and basically each one of those is a vector and here's your input image as a vector. And so you can just take one the cell and project it onto there. And so if you just, and you can choose those, you can choose 50 of these at randomly. If you just choose them and, and get their re, re, re projections on, on your input, you've got a, you, you've got a, 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 a code. So shall I say that one more time? The, the, here's, the, here's the image and each one of these is, is um, a vector. And I just, I pick these at random and then I project them on there, there and, and take the 50 that I got. And that gives me something like this, not too bad. And now, but, but then I can take the, the, here's the data. So if I have all these um, thousands of, of, of spikes and all the, the, um, the delta, the little deltas, I can, I can make a histogram. And now this is from the, the computer this is a computer model that takes out images from Ansel and of atoms, take little windows and, and, and um, coats, coats them. And then once you have the, the, the model, then you can look at all their projections and make a histogram for that. So this is the histogram of the of projections for the model. And this is the ones just ripped out of the data. So that, so for this one, this is close enough that it makes my heart meet bring skills um, faster. Um, and now I did, I did, I should have um, uh, used a KL to compare them and I didn't. And, and um, I'm, I was stupid, what can I say? But this is a lot of fun, don't you think? Okay, so here we go. Now, the, here's where um, your question comes into play. So when you have this model, you can play with it. So, you be, um, so here's three cells. We have about eight cells all together. And so you, you can take these spikes. You can, be, uh, you can count the spikes if you want. And, and you you're the input is, has all these different orientations. And so here's a, one of the cells. Here's another cells, another cells. Okay, no news here. But here, this is this is when I would need help. Is if if you you're supposed to look at these very um, fixated, and then and real and realize that this is the mass, the max um, delta, and what. If this one is, this is the same as that, and this is the same as that. 
and this is the same as the that. So for me, I want to jump for joy, but um, I don't have an elegant reason why should they should be matched there. Maybe if, if you're just um, drawing on this, you, you know, you'll get lucky or something. But at least when, what didn't happen is that if the, the deltas had no structure to them, then, then these, would, these, would, these would be circles here. There'd be nothing here. So the fact that, that something's there is, it, 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 it's, um, it means that it's a homework problem for all of us. Okay, so. And then, you want to chime? Okay, we have to, okay, hmm. all right, we, I think we can do this. Okay, Here. now um, we'll, we're going to enter to the most important part of the talk. So in the car, when you saw the, the um, person driving and watching the speedometer in the car, the da 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 and what we can do is um, take a look at, this is where you look. Here's all the speedometers. Here's the car there. And the question before you is that what's going on here? Was, did the brain have two processes there that were, were both running and then they, he was the brain flipping back between one and the other, but they were active at the same time? Or were they um, somehow, if maybe the car did something and went to sleep, and the speedometer came up, and 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 so they were training on, uh, they were um, trading on, or were they parallel on the same? Okay, so we want to um, think about if they could be um, the same. Now this is a Utah area array for they can but get about a hundred cells, and so what you can do in those um, current um, cells, this is a fabulous paper. Really fabulous. I know people, it's really, it's, it, um, what this is Christian Machen and what the, he has D, DPCA. So, what you could, of course, once you have a lot of uh, cells, you can and do, um, do PCA and look at the coordinates and see what's, what, what you get. But he, he says, look, um, you did this experiment, so you know what the parameters you were, were playing with. So he has a way of binning the, all the spikes so that, the, um, that the, um, the, the, those spikes get their special bins. And what, what he can do with DPCA is, yeah, it's kind of like PCA, but um, you, you are constrained to put, to put the um, things that um, um, are coding the variants of your parameters on their private um, axis. Did I say that the right thing? Okay, so basically you can see, see here are all these axes and here's all the data, but the, 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 here's the ones that are explaining, um, explaining your exper uh, exp experiment. And here we go, da, 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 da. But what's amazing is that this is 16% um, um, of the spikes. 16% of the spikes is, is, has all the variants in, in the experiment. So a, a, I love um, thinking about this. I can go to sleep with a grin on my face. All these um, spikes that got mem that are for nothing. Yeah. But so, but you, there's another thing, you, uh, interpretation you can say is that the brain actually can do multi um, um, multiplexing easily. That's what it does. And so when you're and ever you're looking, you're um, looking into a sea of lots and lots of things going at the same time. So here, okay. So here's where I need you. Okay, we saw this. Okay. Now I'm uh, I'm apologizing for this stupid um, um, figure. But I'm, this is what I, 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 I need to you under you understand of this. So basically, what we're just we're just um, looking 
at this, <laughs> and so we're doing it slightly differently. And here's this our picture, and then we need our our our, our cell. Um, so you these you have 250 um, uh, cells in in your library, and here you here you've picked 12. And this stupid color bird thing that you can barely make out. You're supposed to. Um, th these are the in the, in the scale. Your these are your um, projections, the little R's here. So there's twelve of these, and this there, and then and for this one, um, the twelve you picked picked were there. Okay. Yeah, well, if you if you thought that was okay. Here's another one. Okay, so um, if you, there, there's another one, here's for this one, and here's another one. And you can you can see that these are all different, of course. But now let's go let's go go crazy, and let's code this every gamma cycle, every gamma right. So, so here every 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 particular cycle gamma cycle you're you're recoding it. So basically but it's a, you have this image and and it but it has to exist uh, exist in time so you're using this feed forward um, 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 ar architecture here and you're doing that. But now let's ask, that's a particularly frequency that you picked. Let's, what if I had another picture and I wanted to code it? Could I pick another frequency and make another one and just stick it on here? Okay. Now, um, there's some bad news um, for me. Um, that is, if you if the other one has a different frequency, that means that they are going to crash into each other. And so, that, so the different frequencies are are are, are running at different different um, speeds, and so one there'll be um, crossovers. And and so that and you would think that's re really screw you over because all of a sudden um, when you have a blackout. Except for, um, okay, so, so first of all, let's the, the interesting things. So what you're seeing is the cell in your work wing. And it, when you put these things together, basically the, a cell at different frequencies would, could be um, coding one picture or it could be the other. So in, in moments, it's trading off. It's um, okay, but um, we have to. What are we going to do about the crashes? And I, I think um, I I had a it, and I had a way of doing it, but it was really I, really bad. So it's so bad that I'm not going to tell you. But this is really nice. There's lots and lots of papers that says that if um, you can load up the dendrite of a cell, it, it would veto the spike. So it's exactly what you want. So you have the two things colliding on your diet, then, you, then your cell, um, this, uh, cell comes, it's take off of, of the, it's take off the, it take off um, from the computation. So that's, and, and first of all, the, the um, depending on your sim, simulations, the, the networks um, is sparse. So these things running around is rather spark. So if you um, throw away um, a, a couple of here and there, um, it doesn't do anything for you. So, okay, maybe so. Um, have, okay, so here, if you were a, a, a run of the mill experimenter, you might um, have a lot of spikes and that you measured, but if only you knew the um, wavelength local then, um, you would know that actually you're running from about um, five five different things at the same time, but and they're they're just coexisting too. There. Um, um, okay. So um, that might be it. Let me see. Yes. So um, 
So what did we see here? If you can do this, remember what's happened. Now a cell is, is handling a scalar just like um, you would do in silicon. And so that you don't have to count anything. Um, you, you're going about three times uh, or, order um, orders fast. And then the other thing is the, um, that Rajan and, and, and um, um, Oshas and, uh, are pointing out and many, 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 many other people that the, that, that big um, network of the cortex is using Bay, um, Bayesian, Bayesian hierarchy. And, and so the basically, um, and when you do um, use of A's and things, you have to be prob probabilis probabilistic. And so when we are, so the basically the, the, the thing that we need in, the, in this thing is just what's just right. And then, um, and I also think this idea that um, if you can multiplex, everything's gonna change. The way we think is completely going to change. It's a lot of fun. Now, I would I'm, I wouldn't be saying um, you know this is QED, but I'm just saying that this is a very interesting idea that raises a lot of interesting problems for everybody. And and it it, it for me it just um, seems like um, a lot of fun waiting for us to do. So thank you. Oh. oh, oh. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. Cool. This is Raj, of course, and the, the, um, the, the you also saw um, Yannick uh, uh, Hayes work, and then this is <laughs> Roshan. He is really, these, both, everybody here is really, um, is, uh, these are the graduate students, and here's the postdoc. They are very, very, very smart. smart. And that's, um, this is um, Luke, um, who he's the patch clamper. Um, and he, it's a lot of fun. And he's, a, he's, he's, he is, his quality of his work is just um, beyond um, compare. It's really good. And so here we are. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and I, I, I have very stupid question or maybe, yeah, core part I lost. The, the very much your yeah, core part I lost through your talk. The, my question is that the, so, so, so it's very interesting that uh, so uh, maybe we have a two different process, right? And then they can coexist. But they can co coexist by using different phase of a gamma or a different frequency. So which one? Um, so yeah. that part I lost. So well, I mean, you you have to like um, Pascal. Pascal Free, uh -huh. um, he does that. And so he has papers where he has, has the two, two um, networks fighting each other uh -huh. and he's put their fight, they're playing with their global phase. So all the spikes are, you know, moving together and, but different on the two different. And so- you, but Two different phase? Two different? Yeah. yeah two different phase, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. And, and 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 so they're sort of an apple is fighting an orange, and oh. you know, and but so you have to. I I, I think those are a limit uh, limited. For me. They, 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 just, they, they don't they, generalize, they, they, generalize okay, they, to okay. any so, problem that you want. Yeah. Now, then your one, model. Yeah. Says, I, I'm, this model is any model you, that you want because oh. you, it doesn't say what. The um, synapses should be so. If you have a learning algorithm that you know plays with the synapses, like everybody else, the, the thousands of people, um, then you can do that. Uh -huh. You know, the, and then okay. then you <laughs> turn the key and see what it does. Okay, thank you. So the, I would say this, say this. Um, uh, there's another homework for some here is what I haven't done. So when in, in the slide, the, the ugly slide, we were looking at forward um, and passes. And that's obviously that the, the, um, the, I think the argument I gave is fine. But of course, what we need in, in, in the pre predictive coding, um, there's gonna be feedback too. So you're really asking a, 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 a tricky mathematic question is that you have this network and um, it's doing the, the thing you want to do in silicone 
and the, but there's all these there it's you have all this probability of runoff everywhere and so so you have to prove that, that there won't be any bad um things that happen to you in, in you know, and I haven't done that, but I, 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 I think it's okay, but I don't have anything touching a theorem. Yeah, but it's all about, it's, it's sort of linear algebra. And so it should be, it should be possible to connect everything up and let it run independently and have the two different um, fre um, frequent frequencies um, running in a non-disrupting way. So, and it's, but for me, it's hard to get used to the, the state in, in something is running around in, 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 in a way that's not really under your control, but you're hoping that you're doing the, you, um, you're, you're having the answer pop out the way it would is in, just like it would if you had a per, per, uh, totally um, determinant, deterministic, model instead of the probability one. But are you saying that the, even the predictive coding process, different predict coding process run simultaneously without, without interfering? Yeah, you see how they do that. Ah, cool. you, you that's, should, <laughs> that's very interesting. But I haven't, it's in, in my brain, it, I, I don't know, I think maybe, I don't know if people, when I get, in my brain seems to get an emotional um, feeling about whether it's possible, and then I have to do the work. Mm -hmm. And so I've, at the moment, I've only got to the emotional part. <laughs> it seems, but it's in how hard it could be. It's all linear algebra. <laughs> okay, so other question? Uh, all right, okay, yeah, yeah, so. Already on. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. So, first, uh, uh, where does uh, uh, gamma come from? And then, uh, uh, do all the local neurons uh, listen to the same uh, beta uh, rhythm? Uh, yeah. I mean, hmm. oh, I see. Um, um, yeah. It, that, um, that's um, that's a um, rather um, 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 uh, comfort uh, that, 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 that a challenging comment, uh, comment because yeah um, I I I I'm, I'm talking to the people in uh, Donders and they have MEG because mm -hmm. I think the MEG would would maybe have a test that would make make things like your mm -hmm. question mm -hmm. um, accessible. But but I at, at the moment um, I don't know. It, I think that it's sad that the gamma field mm -hmm. um, doesn't make this this, this distinction. So particularly um, um, particularly they have broad bad um, broad brand um, bad, um, um, gamma so that it mush ever um, lots of gamma frequencies together. Mm -hmm. So you see these papers for gamma, <laughs> whereas I want to. You know, for me in this model, you know, 40, 40, 43 hertz and, and 54 hertz, they're very different. Mm. But, but and, and, and certainly now it is in terms of the data yeah. that you saw, it exists, mm. right? If you do these comments, you can see it. Now, whether it's, 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 it can be harnessed in, mm. you know, in, in like what, to answer your question, I don't know. I see, yeah, yeah. But I, it just seems like, in me, uh, and, but I would, I would see, want to hear your answer to this question. You're the expert for these things. Because, but, that, but I think, I think this idea of just smearing of the the gamma is, is the it ha, it seems to have no purpose. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know. So the the, uh, the substrate for the potential you showed. You, using uh, intracellular uh, patch clamp recording, maybe they are like a collection of uh, many, many small EPSPs and ISPSPs, right? So, uh, and then the uh, what kind of uh, input uh, those neurons receive uh, depends on uh, the what the synaptic inputs 
each neuron receives, right? Mm. So uh, uh, even uh, yeah. in, uh, located in nearby, depending on the difference in the incoming uh, uh, synaptic weights, each neuron may yeah, hear no, we, certainly different. This is different. a question we would ask yeah. Luke what yeah. that would be. Yeah. You know, but um, but mm, I don't think you you don't have the inputs handy. You, yeah. you can't want Margaret. They were just happy happy to get onto the cell. Mm -hmm. that, that's yeah, a yeah. Tri triumph when when they can do that. And they they're trying to get more than one cell so they can see how the cells are talk to each other. Yeah, so that's yeah. I think that's where they are right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but I don't think they they can't question that question. Your question would be too, too hard for them. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Are there any other questions? I guess it's related to this gamma question, but the the encoding as a, as a delta or a phase in the in the gamma cycle would have to be decoded later as also a delta in wherever the the spikes ending up. <laughs> like, yeah, then, you, then it has to have a, a similar reference to to mean anything. Yeah, they. Um, um, yeah, I think I, to answer the question you didn't ask is, is that, yeah, a lot of times people, modelers, maybe yourself too, they, everybody says that, you know, if you have a distributed re representation, well, you know, where, where, who, who reads the answer? <laughs> but, but, you know, and, and so I think, I think you just, um, you just sort of, you know, whatever you want it. The answer to be you just you you um do do it with wires you know you just the, somehow the answer if like motor um cort, cortex you you know you want this particular code and so you can just um you know put make a bus that can handle all the all the the different um codes that you have and you're done you're you're done i think yeah, no, I, I, I can I see. Did I close to your answer? Or? I, I think so. I, I, I guess I'm actually not a, a neuro a person. I'm a physicist, so um, it's it's all a little bit vague to me. But no, um, just, I, I get lots the, and lots and lots of like, modelers have just uh, distributed representation, and they always get um, criticized. By, like, okay, how do we get the output? You know, whereas I think you just, you know, it's all wires and whatever, you know, that's the way, wherever you want the answer, outer answer that you just say that has to and anticipate the different um, things that you, you want to say. So, yeah. I, I think I'm happy, always, happy with that. Always uh, distributed. Yeah. yeah. Uh, may I put a very stupid question? <laughs> yeah. yeah, go for it. I love, uh, yeah, I think uh, predictive coding idea is very beautiful. I like mathematically very, very. But uh, I often feel if predictive coding is correct, after extensive learning, neurons should become very silent. But often we observe something opposite. Neuron increase responsibility to specific input. Ooh, say that again. Uh, ah, so if predictive coding okay. is correct, then after extensive learning, I expect uh, some sensory neuron or most of sensory neuron becomes uh, quiet, less active because uh, prediction becomes uh, more correct. Uh, but uh, actually what we observe is often kind of opposite. New, many neurons are uh, at least neurons I see. Uh, yeah, increase selective response. So this is my basic uh, difficulty in understanding okay. predictive coding. I have a sort of a answer to that, but I think it's um, I'm a, alone <laughs> um, and, and without colleagues. But I, the predictive coding, um, the Bayesian idea, um, and the and the idea that you want distribution. That's right. So the, you want the, the um, cortex is going to be any, everything. But I think that in the moment 
um, you if you were, you wanted to um, give the um, um, the likelihood um, their importance. You know, the, you don't if you're if you're dealing with um, some in, in um, um, senses input right now. <laughs> so that has a a a, 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 a violent vital um, um, truth to it. So you, you don't want to um, be able to um, um, put that into the average, the distribution. So I think for me, the, th um, the thalamus um, is, is, does that. So, that. so in your brain, you, wanna, you want to keep everything um, in a nice Bayesian way. Okay, that's predicted, but in the moment, you want to be able to put the likelihoods in there and, and believe them because they are, they're right sitting right there. And I think the thalamus could do that. And I, I maybe you, you uh, I don't know how much anatomist you care about, but, uh, but I, I um, you can take the, those equations and you can put, put a band and you can wire up those equations so that they go right through the, the um, thalamus. And if you if you wanted to have have a network that that would allow to to use um, 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 micro, um, maximum likelihood um, constraints, so I think that's I don't know if that's an answer to you, but I think in as much as I'm thinking about, I've been worried about the predictive curly. I, I don't think you can have it a, be a panacea. And okay. also the other, another one um, um, is that with the, um, the, um, um, the um, fixation. So I think that when you make the um, um, and fixation that you, you, it's, you're asking a question and your, your brain, <laughs> hippocampus or where you're starting from, it knows what the question is. And then, then it sort of bends it, push it, pushes it down to the thalamus, and 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 maybe a beta does that, and then then, then you um then it the, the, then that get, you do you um, compute the answer and it comes back. So I, I think it actually the brain works in these heart, in, in these waves. I think, but and and some people are do, doing experiments that have these characteristics in them. I, Thank you. Yeah, I, it's, I agree I, that uh, we are started to understand the thalamus function of thalamus just recently. Ooh, yeah, you might be. Maybe we should talk some more. <laughs> okay, we can talk <laughs> but, later. But it's, I, it's hard for me, I, it's hard for me to think that the the network, the massive network, is fast enough um, so that it, you can actually it can um, do real computation and it can. Com uh, computation and, and useful time. And so if he, I think it just, it, 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 it puts all the constraints that you need there and then something else, maybe beta can um, read those fast enough to be useful. Then that'd be as, uh, yeah. as far as I ever got. I think, yeah, Salamas controls the uh, uh, operation mode of single cells, some experiment suggests so. Uh, I do not understand totally, but uh, I think what you suggested might be at least partly oh, correct. Thanks. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm welcome to um, any kind of discussion on that because I, I think it's it, in my my brain it's the field. It doesn't have you know there a lot of people are very good um, exper experimenters, but the in terms of I think what really for the brain, you really need like a, more Kenji's, right? That can can think um, abstract um, what the model should should be before you uh, you know you've actually got all the data right in front of you. And then I think that we we as a group, you know, be fun to just you know throw these ideas around and, and see if, if there's something that we should have thought before now and then. I, I think the, the big thing is the brain has to work somehow, you know, and, and, and so we have to guess what, 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 it, what it's doing. 
Okay, so I think we spent a lot of time already. So then once again, thank you very much for Dana, the beautiful talks. Well, the, thank you for coming and, and, and it's, as, as I said, it's an adventure for me to be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you for.